now your weather with meteorologist Gino Recchia. 14 of the first 18 days in April have seen above average temperatures, but tomorrow we won't be adding to that. It is going to be cooler weather heading in here, and you could see that in the teal and the blue color shades coming in here from Canada as the cold front's pushing down southward. So 61 degrees, we won't be seeing that anytime soon because behind that cold front, an Arctic high pressure is going to be dropping our temperatures down into the 40s, and that's going to be making it feel like 10 to 15 degrees below the normal for this time of year, which is 55 right now. But a beautiful sunrise this morning. Can't go wrong with that for this Sunday. And we continued with some filtered sunshine, mostly sunny, partly cloudy skies. But as we headed into the evening hours, well, still quiet, but things will be changing as we head into the overnight. It's 47 degrees currently in Green Bay with a southerly wind at 8 miles per hour. In Appleton, it is 46, 48 in Oshkosh, 47 in Pembine, 45 in Ephraim, 41 Manitowoc, 39, a cool spot right now in Sheboygan. But we are going to be seeing some chance of rain showers as we head into the overnight with that cold front that's pushing through right now across the upper Midwest and behind it, that high pressure from Canada that's going to draw in some colder air. And you could actually see some snow showers up towards Thunder Bay in Ontario and also into the far north central plains and over the Rockies. So there is enough cold air mass that some folks actually on Tuesday, I'll talk about that momentarily, it could be dealing with snowfall, but south of us and north of us. It looks like we'll be missing out on it. Coastal look does show those scattered rain showers advancing eastward and timing up pretty well than what we were talking about earlier in the 5 o'clock newscast. Here we are at 1145. That line of showers starting to make its way towards Anago. But as it continues to propagate eastward, it is going to lose its intensity and turning more scattered and isolated. So it's not going to be a big heavy rain, just a little bit of a drizzle almost. But then later on Tuesday, another area low pressure moves through that's going to stay well down to the south of us but it will be bringing some accumulating snowfall all the way far south as parts of Missouri into Illinois, Indiana, and then of course some lake effect snow showers up to the north and here in Green Bay, northeast Wisconsin. We're in between both of it, so you don't have to grab the shovels out. It's just going to be a little bit cooler. Temperatures tomorrow will only be in the lower to mid 40s, and that's going to continue as you go into Tuesday and Wednesday as well. So for tonight, we'll drop down 37 degrees. Northwest winds at 10 to 15 miles per hour with a few scattered rain showers. Tomorrow we'll get up to 43, which is below the normal of 55 for this time of year. Northwest winds a little breezy to start in the morning, but we'll start to see them subside as we head into the afternoon about 5 to 10. 42 Tuesday, a slight chance of a wintry mix rain shower. Same thing on the day on Wednesday, 43, but then we start to warm up back into the 50s as we get towards Thursday, Friday. Slight chance of a rain shower on Saturday and then drying out on Sunday with partly cloudy skies. All right, thanks, Gene.